Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Git playlist. So in this video, I will tell you how to get started with Git. Okay, so how to make a project as a Git project. Like, first of all, go to your Git pass and try to open it. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to point out the Git pass to the folder which has to be initialized as Git folder okay yeah i can see that it is confusing but just understand here where we are right now we will see that using pwd command so we are here now let's go to our desktop and make a folder here okay and name this as git okay now just go to its property and here this is our address it is its location I am copying this and here I will change our location to that location using cd command. Now we are at desktop. Now what we will do? We can list all the files using ls command. Okay. So here we can see that we have a git folder here. So finally navigate to git so cd get simply so we are now at git folder this has to be initialized as git folder so to initialize it we have the simple command as init yes so we will write git in it and you can see that initialize empty git repository okay now if you will try to see what is all in this file is you can see that here we are have three file in this okay total eight but we have three files and we cannot see them because they are hidden and how we are getting that because it is starting from period or dot dot files okay so in this way you can initialize a folder as git folder now what we have to do next is like we are trying to add some files in that git okay like one text file and just say first dot txt and let's do it at second and let's make one more third okay and now just put some data in this like this is first save this this is third and this is second okay so finally we have saved now what we have to do we have to add these files into our git project so we can add that using add command so we will say git add now what we have to do we have to add all files to our git folder so we will simply put dot it means hey git just add all the files available in that folder to the git repository or folder okay you can see that there our success our files are successfully loaded in git folder okay uh, okay so the next thing is like we have added the files but it is not saved in the git folder so to save that changes we have to commit those changes so to do that what we have to do we have to commit and during committing during commit we have to provide a message that hey git save the changes at this point of time with this special message and this message will be written in dual code like git 
become it okay and what we have to do we will provide message using dash m and this message will go in double quote and like hey my first commit okay now just press enter you can see that um, we have added three files in this you can see the log using log command like git log you can see that i have done the commit which this is known as the hash code and we have done the changes in the master author name is ravi sulanki and my email id is this one date time and this is our masses okay so in this way you can add files and commit those changes and you can show the logs within them and if you want to do specific like uh, i just want to know who has made those commit like who is the author like we will say git log and we will say what is the author name so we will say author okay you can see that uh, we have to provide the author name okay so just say like my name is ravi you can see that this author name ravi has done changes on this date with this special messages okay and if you want to know the status like okay so to know this and better let's make one more file in this like fourth okay now we want to know whether all the files are saved or not we want to know the status so to know the status we have the simple command as git status okay now you can see that here we are getting 4.txt that is untracked files because we have not added that into our git project although it is there but we have not added that so to add a specific file we will simply say git add simply copy this name and we will paste it here okay now we will just try to check the status you can see that we have added the files but the changes to be committed because we have not changed we have not made the commit so for this we have to commit so to make the commit we have the commit option or command okay so git commit and with commit we have to provide a message so just say fourth file is added add it okay you can see that one file changed zero insertion zero deletion okay in this way you can add or commit those changes and you can see the, see the status okay uh, for example one more thing like uh let's go in your folder and just try to change this like i forgot to put full stop here so full stop and save this file now we have done the changes here but it is not reflecting it there so if you will try to know the status like here you will get the option that we have modified first dot txt so what we have to do all the time when you have a new file or modified file first we have to add this to our git project so we will say git add first dot txt okay and after adding what we have to do we have to commit that else it will be not saved so to save this we will say git commit and for committing committing we have to provide a message and message will go in doll code okay and here like first file is
modified okay so one file says one insertion one deletion so what happens is that when you modify or commit a modified file it simply delete the earlier file or previous file and it makes new file that is why one insertion one deletion and one file has been changed so in this way you can play with different options available in the uh git options okay so that's all for this video in the next video i will tell you more about git concept till then stay tuned do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye